To all vegans struggling with excess weight, it's not your genetics. It's not that your hormones are off. It's not that you're, you're big bone. And it's not due to the lack of protein in your diet. The superficial reasons, reason is that you haven't yet managed to get and stay in a sustainable caloric deficit. The deeper reason, on the other hand, is more complex. After working with 233 vegans from 21 countries, I've realized that it boils down to three key things. And in this video, we're going to touch base on these three things together. So are you ready? Let's just dive right into it. Number one, you must make the unconscious conscious. Carl Jung said that before you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. In the previous example, substitute fate with genetics, hormones, and you have the exact situation that most people are in right now with their weight loss journey. The reality is that weight loss, when you're controlling for the variables that actually matter, is actually very predictable day after day and week after week. So what are the factors that you actually should control? What are the factors that influence weight loss the most? Number one, it is the daily caloric intake. And number two, it's the weekly weight averages. So action step for you, make the unconscious conscious. Step on the weighing scale every day and take weekly averages. Then log your food for one entire day. I'm doing this with all of my clients and just these two things are super mind boggling. So try this and it will give the same results for you as well. The second key is that you must have proper input. Thomas Edison, the famous inventor said, I never had an idea in my life. I've got no imagination. I never dream. My so-called inventions already existed in the environment. I took them out. I've created nothing. Nobody does. There's no such thing as being brain born. Everything comes from the outside. Nikola Tesla, a well-known genius in his autobiography, wrote as well. Soon I became aware, to my surprise, that every thought I conceived was suggested by an external impression. Not only this, but all my actions were prompted in a similar way. And even Leonardo da Vinci, the painter of Mona Lisa and the well-known universal genius, wrote, All our knowledge has origins in our perceptions. So realize that genius results always has genius input. So action step for you, realize that when your results are off in any given field that you're looking to improve, your inputs in that given field are likely off as well. So ask yourself in the last, let's say 30 days, have you learned from a credible coach or mentor that could point you in the right direction in this area? Or have you read a book in the last 30 days, again, from a credible source? If not, that would be the best next thing to do. Number three, you must plan to win. Let me share with you one of my favorite stories of Alexander the Great. When Alexander was young, there was a legend of the Gordian knot. A knot fixed to a wagon so hard to untie that nobody who ever tried it could do it. But it was said that whoever could undo the knot would rule over Asia. So young Alexander, as ambitious that he was, couldn't resist to try to untie the knot. Yet no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't do it. A crowd had grown and the king's friends began to worry. It would look bad if Alexander left the temple with the task undone. But it was clearly impossible for anyone to untie the Gordian knot. Alexander, as resourceful as he was, pulled out his sword and cut the knot in two. This story and Alexander is a prime example of belief in oneself and planning to win. And so many people on their weight loss journeys do not share the same belief in themselves. They're not planning to win, which is completely understandable if you've tried dozens of times and nothing has worked. So how can you start to believe that this is possible for you? I think the best way is to really surround yourself with people on the same mission as you. You must surround yourself with people that at least at first believe in you more than you do. Look, becoming a fit vegan is not an art form. It's not magic. It's not the rare trait that is selected for the few that have good genes to do so. Nope. Becoming a fit vegan is a science. It is a math equation. It is a skill, like riding a bicycle or operating a computer. So do you want to become a fit vegan and get in the best shape of your life as well? While I don't know your individual situation, what I can assure you is that in a very high likelihood, I've worked with dozens of other vegans in the exact or a similar situation as you. 
Trust me, over the last few years, I've seen everything. So here's an invitation for you. If you click the link in the description or in the first comment, you can go to my page where you can read through my success stories, the, the hall of fame, the testimonials. And if it piques your interest on that page, you can then go ahead and schedule a free call with me. In that free call, I point you in the right direction, show you how to start, show you how, what to do next. And then if it makes sense, we can touch base on you joining my private coaching program. Regardless if you decide to go for my private coaching program or not, these 60 minutes will be the best 60 minutes that you spend working on your health and fitness this year. So click the link below in the description or in the first comment to learn more. So talk to you soon or see you next time.